And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Rise of Industry. All right. Uh, the town is growing. Growing nicely, in fact. Uh, we are at 25,000. Remember, we started this. And it was 18,000. And uh, I'm keeping a close eye on my demands. I've been tweaking the deliveries. So, like, the fishermen piers, you know, the destination, the number of trucks. I've been sort of tweaking things to not oversupply the farmer's market with any of the goods because oversupplying them will dramatically decrease the amount that they pay for them. So I wanna make sure that the number stored equals the number demanded and then, you know, and then time it so the next delivery is done in the next week. So we, as you can see, we are at Saturday uh, and uh, the grapes are coming in right now. Bingo. Uh, so now we've got two grapes stored, and uh, that will, you know, linger, and then they get sold, and, oh, it's, it's, it, it just works. It works out pretty good. Uh, okay, so the other thing is we want to, we want to supply some more stuff. So as you can see, we could be sending cocoa and sugar as well, and uh, we also could do wheat, but uh, these two give us more money. So you can see 17 and a half days, 17 and a half days, 15 days. Although, you know, 15 days, that's still two weeks. Uh, but of course, plantation wise, and lo and behold, we have a sale on a plantation building. So I think that's a good option. The only thing we need to do is unlock the cocoa and sugarcane in the plantation get that unlocked and now we can go ahead and do it now where are we have an r d point for a gathering i want to do the coal mine five harvesters on a coal mine so that will we'll be able to increase our coal and iron uh, production we have yet another one on logistics still not sure what to do uh hmm urban road truck depot I don't have any points into that but the zeppelin field I, I really want to try that so 25% speed and 12 capacity I think that's a good one to unlock right now uh, and then we will eventually want to start moving into this crafting chain we need a petrochemical factory um, because we now we now can do oil if we really wanted to um, the next point I can put in will be to like offshore oil or regular oil drill and that will bring us into a pretty good amount of money there I think okay so plantation we're gonna need a lot of water of course and a lot of space for these plantations. So let's bring up buildings and plantations. Look at that, 59,000 for a plantation. That is beautiful. As far as water goes, uh, well, let's do the water siphon first because you know that's gonna, that's gonna require some some finagling here. Okay, so if I do that, and then there, 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 there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's get those hooked up. I'm pretty sure we're going to need another one. Because I would like to also start delivering some other things. So we're going to close that. Let's, get, let's plan on having another siphon. Uh, yeah, right in here. So... Perfect. Could not have built this any better. Perfect. Okay. 
Uh, both of these are going to filter down into something. Uh, can I do a tunnel? I would really like to do a tunnel. There we go. Connect that up. Okay, so we have water siphons now. Now we need ye old plantations. And again, we're going to do cocoa and sugar. So I like to line this up. So one here. And let's do production cocoa. Yes, add field. way back here if I want. Okay. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I want to get another one of these going. So right here. Not the berries. We want sugar cane. And add field. So one, two. Oh, see, we can't do that should be able to oh we can't make it fit there either how did that one fit and this one doesn't how did that fit huh they must be a different size or something very weird okay So we let me close all this. The other thing we may need is something for the hardware store. Uh, it wants dye and cotton, which is more plantation action. So I think while the sale is going, let's check our money. Oh, yeah, we got lots of money. Uh, I'm pretty sure the plantation is also... Uh, let's see. Oh, we can put it along this road if we really, really want to. Or I don't really want to. That fit nicely in there, and this one doesn't. This is going to be a very, very busy road. I'm, I'm rethinking my, my idea there. Okay, so let's do this side. Berries is fine. We can't do any sort of terraforming yet in the game. So we kind of have to make this work. Can I... Oh, I can squeeze something back here. Would be nice to be able to pop one of these back here. So let's do berries. And those will go into a textile mill. Or a dye factory, or what have you. I might even need to do another water uh, water siphon. There'll be a lot of water pulling in over here. Uh, okay, and then if we look, we need some cotton. Uh, just straight up cotton for the hardware store. I want to try to really, you know, supply a lot of stuff in here. So let's do a cotton plantation let's set the production to cotton field and then add these there we go very industrial over here now we're gonna need textile factory I think this is a tip, yeah. Pretty sure textile factory is what we need. Uh, we're going to need to make dyes with this. So I'm thinking if we look at dye, we look at 12 and a half days to dye. And that just takes one berry and one water. 12 and a half days. 
And then the berries take 17 and a half days. So that is five berry fields, 17 and a half days. So divide that by five, you know, roughly three and change. Uh, three, and, yeah, three something and change. Basically days per berry. You're doing it by five. So you're getting a berry every roughly three days. And if we look at dye, we need 12 and a half. We need a berry every 12 and a half days. Um, and we're getting one every about three days. So we'd be able to build four textile factories. That's a lot. Uh, let's just start with. Let's just start with two. Uh, I kind of want to build these like off over here. Those ain't cheap. Okay. Definitely going to need another water siphon. Definitely. So let's set up the destinations for some of this stuff here. Um, as far as water siphons go, let's do a tunnel. Um, no, let's not do a tunnel. Let's do a water siphon. Uh, yeah, I can just probably do one right, right in line with all these other ones. Leave one space in there for a possible road. I don't want to do one here because that will block. So I'm going to do one here instead. In here. There we go. It's a little, a little unoptimized, but uh, I think it'll work. Getting lots of water. I don't want to be I don't want to be short on water on this whole this whole grand plan here. It would also be nice to you know, have a road out to the cotton plantation. Okay, so cotton plantation, obviously we need to send this stuff directly to the hardware store. Two per week and we're getting we're going to get roughly well we have 5, so we're getting, you know, one every like three or so days so yeah I think destination is commercial Carlton hardware store and we're gonna do four trucks okay plantation Ooh, we gotta go to the textile factory here uh, production die yes production die Yes. Okay, so we're not doing a mattress. Uh, so yeah, we've got dye, not fabric, just dye. Grapes and water, blah blah blah. Not grapes, berries, ha. Huh? Grapes. Okay, so we want. This production is every 12 and a half days, so it's not super duper urgent. So I want a destination. And these remember these can only do like three destinations, which is unfortunate. So factories, uh, Charlton Textile Factory, die. I'm gonna do two trucks. Te textile Factory Seven again, two trucks. And then maybe the berry factory uh, farms plantation berries two. Okay, 
So that's this one way back here already set up. This one I want to be the cotton and I'm gonna want four four to cotton farms do I want one of the berries? I think I do like two to yeah two to the berries maybe and then so that takes care of the cotton and the berries we've got water being delivered there now I just need cocoa and sugarcane which is going to be this guy uh, destination we're gonna do farms cocoa and sugarcane four on each however there's I mean it's gonna bring in every seven and a half days so it's gonna quickly fill up a few of these and then you know go on from there so the first round will come through and then the second one will come through and it'll it'll build up I'm not too worried so that was not a cheap process and we've got the water going now so we have now berries destination uh, textile factory so factory uh, textile factory seven textile factory six two two each should keep those running and let's see let the trucks begin all right production has started little bits at a time so the cocoa uh, we need this to go to the farmers market in, in Charlton so destination uh, commercial Charlton farmers market and three trucks yeah I think three trucks we'll start with and then sugarcane same place production no destination Commercial Charlton Farmers Market. There we go. Obviously, all all five are producing there. It's getting close there. It'll work up. It'll it'll get there. Berries. How are berries doing? Not too bad. Where's the destination set? Good. All right, we've got dye being produced. Good times. Dye needs to go again to the hardware store. So let's set this destination. Uh, commercial Charlton hardware store. I don't need like that many trucks assigned. So destination Charlton hardware store. Two trucks should be fine. All right, I think that's our. F I think that's a load of dye. It is. It's a load of dye, heading off to Charlton. And now it should be growing like crazy because yeah, we are growing at a good clip here. Now we're delivering way more things. Getting quite a good, good paycheck from these. Oh, what's that? Ahead of schedule. Workers in factories across the map exceed their normal production. All right, factory production twenty five percent. I like that. So I am pushing out way more cotton than I'm demanding right now. So I'm going to go to destination. I'm going to drop that down to two trucks. I don't mind if this fills up because as this city grows, so will the demand. So the farmer's market here. Let's see if we've upped the demand at all for any of these. These are all still two per week. 
And now we are actually supplying cocoa and sugar cane or sugar. Well, we're going to be doing even better. Which is awesome. We might be oversupplying it a little bit. Yeah, see the cocoa is might be oversupplying it. So we're going to we're going to drop that down to two trucks. Same with the sugar cane. Cuz now that they are all producing, you can see all all of the farms are producing now. So the water is building up. have another point. Uh, where is that point at? Industry. Well, not sure where I want to go with that. Food factory. Cheese and orange juice. A lot of different foodstuffs for the food factory. Home goods. There's a lot. Oh, there's the oven right there. Uh, radiators and diodes. Petrochemical factory. Uh, paints. Plastics and refined oil. Still no... No points put into the, the wood branches yet. I don't have anywhere to sell... Like books. Nobody's demanding cardboard. Let's go back over here. Yeah, see, we have this home goods down here. We got this stupid city now wrapping around this, this lake. Instead of growing this direction, which I'm trying to encourage, uh, it's growing over this direction into my into my industry. And now I'm more restricted on where I can put more sand collectors. That's one thing I need to look at. Uh, gathering, sand collector. Yeah, that would be that would be nice to have that extra extra sand collector action going right there. Cause still still not supplying this glassworks over here. Uh, and this storage is slowly creeping up, but it's got quite a long ways to go before it's full, unfortunately. And it has to fill up before it'll distribute anymore. And how are we doing on supply here? Look at that. Eight per week. Wow. Wow. I... Yeah, we are... We're pushing it out as fast as possible. I might want to... Well... No, it's not in there. Is it gathering? Fisherman's Pier, yeah. Might want to add another Fisherman's Pier. Is there any fish relatively close? Not really. Really not any fish close. I could go out to the shore and just go crazy with the fish and use a truck depot to really push more fish down here. Because look at that, eight per week. I'm aware of that. So eight units of Yeah, three units stored. So we could actually be delivering more fish than we are, are right now. And it's really shown by the price. You can see that 119%, they're 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 really demanding that. Whereas vegetables, not so much. I'm really able to keep those stocked in pretty pretty good. Eggs and meat would be Wonderful to be able to start uh, start delivering. How close are we to livestock farm? 
I would like to unlock wheat, but a livestock farm? Be able to get chickens? That would be glorious. It's just a matter of letting the game run a little bit. So what are you full on? Are you full of... Yeah, you see, you're filling up with water. And your destinations are already all maxed out. Are any of these without water? Nope. I think they all pretty much have all of the water they could ever want. I could probably do another fact. Oh yeah, I could definitely do another uh, fabric factory. What's our fabric situation look like? Is that going to hardware? Yes. That is definitely going to hardware. I could be delivering more fabric. That's no, that's glass. What am I looking at? Ahead of schedule. Ooh, no. There's some nice new work in kind of scratch the map. Ooh, even more production. Nice. Um, yeah, I could be delivering more fabric, uh, which means more dye. How am I doing on my dyes? See, we got. I could do another die. I've already got three things though, and that makes things tough. I would have to use a truck depot to expand that a bit. Because um, berries, I've got plenty of berries, and it's just a matter of having enough water, and uh, I'm kind of maxed on my water distribution from trucks. How am I doing on these? See, these are all maxed out as well with zero storage. Yeah, see there's no storage. So I'm using a metric ton of water over here. I would need possibly Yeah, I would I would need to start siphoning all of these off into a truck depot. If I want more dye cuz I'm going to need more dye to do this. Maybe. Because I don't have any dye stored over here, do I? I don't. Alright, well, trying to min max all of these factories. So, that'll have to be next episode. So, I thank you for watching. Please hit that like button if you are enjoying the series so far. And subscribe if you uh, are new to the channel. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.